Hi guys, welcome to the next video. And this video is called Removing the X. It's based on a coding interview assignment. And what I wanted to do is just show you how to go about writing code for this. So, first, let's get into the question. Okay, so here's the assignment here. Given a string, if the first or last characters are X, return the string without those X characters and otherwise simply just return the string unchanged. So this is a pretty simple assignment. So as you can see here, let's just say we have a method called without x, and we pass in this string here, x hicks. So as you can see here, we have characters of x at the beginning and the end of the string. Once this method is done executing, we simply want to return just high without the x's. So we just want to return this string without these x's on the beginning and the end. We also want to check strings for only if x is at the beginning. If x is only at the beginning, we simply just want to remove that x and print out the remaining string. That also goes for if x is at the end, which is this third example. x is at the end, we simply want this method to execute and simply remove the x from the end. And also, as this says, if x is neither at the beginning or the end of the string, simply return the string unchanged. And that's pretty much the assignment. So, the next thing I want to do now is just jump right into the code. Okay guys, so this is the coding portion of the video and what I wanted to do here is just walk you through how to go about coding um, the removal of those X's. So basically the goal is, just like I said in my presentation, we're gonna be given a string and if the first or last character of this string are X, then we wanna return the string without those X characters. Otherwise, just simply return the string. So, just like I talked about in my presentation, um, I'm gonna go over it once more. We're gonna have a method called without x, and then we're gonna pass in a value. As you can see, x's are at the beginning and end of this string. We just simply wanna return the value without x's at the beginning or end of the string. If an x is only at the beginning of the string, we wanna remove that x only from the beginning of the string. If it's only at the end of the string, we simply just wanna remove that X from the end of the string. That's pretty much it. So let's jump right into it. But first of all, let me zoom this in for you guys. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is create a method. The method is going to be called without X. So we're going to go public static void without X. And we're going to have this method take in a parameter. Now, after we do this, we want to first of all create two booleans. All right, we want to create these two booleans because we want to check to see whether or not x is at the beginning or end of the string. So, we create these two booleans just like this. Boolean, and we're going to name this boolean x at beginning, and we're just going to and we're just going to go x at beginning, and then we're going to create another boolean, x at end. All right? So you have these two booleans here. Now, these booleans are going to be assigned um, a conditional statement. And basically, it's going to return true or false based on a conditional statement. So as you can probably guess now, this x at beginning is going to consist of a Boolean statement that's going to determine whether or not X is at the beginning of the string that's passed in. All right. So you just want to go my string dot substring. And we're just going to go 0, comma, 1. 
and then dot equals x. All right. So let me explain what's going on here. So what I'm saying here is this. I have this Boolean and I'm assigning it this conditional statement. Now what's happening is I'm taking a string and I'm grabbing the substring from the first letter of that substring. So basically what's happening here is that I'm grabbing, say for example, if we have this string here, I'm just grabbing whatever is in the first position of the string that's passed in. This example has X, but you know it can be any string. I'm just checking that first character of the string and I'm determining whether or not it is equal to X. If it is equal to X, what's going to happen is that this Boolean value is going to be set to true. And that's what that Boolean is doing. Now for this X at the end, I just simply want to check the X at the end, check and see if there's an X at the end of the string. So I just want to go my string dot char at my string dot length minus one. Equals X. And that that's all I want to write. That's all I want to write for um, x at the end. So basically, what's happening here is that I'm taking a string and I'm checking for the character at the last position of this string. All right, and I'm trying to determine whether or not it's equal to x. If the last character of the string equals x, then this will be set to true. So hopefully those two booleans make sense to you guys. Now what I want to do is create some conditional statements. So first of all, I want to go if x. You know what? So let me let me back up for a minute. So what I'm gonna do next is create conditionals that check the string for x at the beginning and the end. So that's the first thing I want to check. So in order to check that, let's add that up. All right. So I just want to go if x, and the conditional is going to be pretty straightforward since we've created our booleans and makes everything very, very simple. So basically what I'm doing, I'm saying if there is an X at the beginning of the string and if there is an X, well, X end, that's what I meant to type. So if there's an X at the beginning of the string and there's an X at the end of the string, what I want to do is just simply return the string without those X's. So I just want to go sysout.println my string dot substring one and my string dot length minus one. All right. So let me explain what's going on here. So I have this if conditional statement and I'm checking to see whether X is at the beginning of the string and if X is at the end of the string. So if X is both at the beginning and the end of the string, what I want to do is simply print out the substring starting at one. I'm starting at one because I don't want to start off at zero because zero would contain the X, which I do not want included in the final result. So I'm starting at one and then I'm going to end at the length minus one. So basically we're going to, what we're doing here is that we're just basically grabbing 
the word in between the two X's on each side of the string. There's an X at the beginning of the string, there's an X at the end of the string. We're just getting the value inside of that. And we simply just want to print it out. All right. But the next thing I'm going to check is only if X is at the beginning of the string. I want to go else if I'll go else if x at beginning, then I just want to go my string dot sub string and then one. Now, as you can see, when I'm using substring. I'm only passing in this one value. So basically what's going to happen when I do this is just going to take the value at the position right after x and then print out everything after that. So if there's an x at the beginning of the string, that will be position 0. But since I don't want that x at the beginning, I'm going to start at 1 and then print all of the letters afterwards pretty much of that word all right so hopefully this makes sense to you guys and as i always say if you have any questions make sure to leave them in those comments below all right so for the last for the next thing i want to check i want to check for x at the end of the string and i want to go else if x at end what I want to do is sys out.println my substring, well, my string actually, dot substring zero, how about my string dot length minus one. So what's happening here is I'm only checking for x at the end of the string. So if there's an x at the end of the string, what I want to do is print out the string from the beginning all the way to the part of the string right before x, since I'm checking for x at the end of the string. And last thing I want to do is this else conditional statement and then just go print out my string. So the reason I'm putting this here is because in our goal it says we're given a string and if the first or last characters are X return the string return those strings without X characters and otherwise return the string. So that's why I have this else conditional here. I'm just simply returning the string if none of these conditions are met. So if none of these conditions are met, what's going to happen? I'm going to just simply print out the string. So let's test this out now. All right. So I just want to go without x and then simply pass in some values. See if this works for us. All right. So we pass this into the method. We should get high returned. So I can run this. Go down to our console. High. That's what's returned. Let's test this out for some of our other examples. Copy. And then from here, just paste. So I should get high because only this X at the front is going to be removed. Run it, I get high. Exactly what we're expecting. All right, so if I copy this, as you can see, an X is at the end, and the result should be 
HXI. We want to remove that last X and just simply print out whatever is remaining. You just want to run this. HXI. Exactly what we're looking for. So that's pretty much the code that you would write in order to resolve this problem. So if you ever did it during an interview, you know exactly how to solve this problem. And it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it really just comes down to just logical reasoning and knowing about how to use substring. You have to figure out how to grab the first element of the string and how to grab the last element of the string. That's basically what you need to know in order to resolve this type of problem. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video if you've learned something here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.